So with this setup, um, I was able to move uh, quite a bit of stuff off my belt. The biggest thing weight-wise was my handcuffs, of course, um, and also moved the taser. I've uh, got a mic for my in-car uh, camera and radio, and then I mounted a tourniquet up here. Um, you know, a lot of times we'll run tourniquet pouches everywhere, but I had all this extra unused space right here on top of the vest, so I just went the old school route and, and grabbed some um, shock cord and pop that sucker right on there. I can get to it from both hands. It's right in front of me, so you don't have to really think about it. It's not hidden away. Um, these are the 10 I believe, holsters, or I'll have to go double check on that. I think it's 10 holsters, but he made a nice rig. Um, they've got Molly on the back, so they'll connect in there real nicely, uh, and green, of course, because that's absolutely 100% important. And I was able to um, utilize some ice vents again in here for shoulder padding. Um, which is pretty exciting. These, uh, I really can tell the difference in day to day, um, that end of the day grind when you're, you know, you've been wearing this for eight, 10, 12 hours at a time. Um, I just don't feel like my shoulders are getting beat up and uh, I've got all that load distributed across this uh, mesh. I don't have the, the sweat issues up top here. Um, it's funny, the only places that you really end up sweating in this rig are the places right here where it's making contact with your body. So it's, it's really a, a nice way to keep yourself cool and help distribute that load quite a bit. Uh, the other nice thing I like about this vest, the way they set it up, um, it's got a little bit of modularity to it. So I was able to stick a rifle plate in there. Um, not 100% ideal, um, but being able to roll around in regular duties with a, a, a rifle rated three plate up front doesn't hurt uh, my feelings and it's kind of nice depending on what we're doing unfortunately because of sitting in the car and everything else I can't get one in the back um, it just was brutal on my back and, and shoulders and everything else so anytime that we're armored up to the point where we're doing something a little bit more um, direct action we'll go to a, a different type of vest but for everyday warrant service and fugitive stuff it really works out well and it's a nice way to add a little bit of protection